What's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope everybody's had a good week. Hope you're all excited for another awesome Mystery Box Monday. As you can see, I've got some some new stuff in here. Uh, we're going to open a couple of them, but down the bottom, can you see it? Sneak peek down there. Yes, we've got some loose cars. Uh, in Australia, thankfully lately, the uh, on last weekend, the flea markets opened up again. So went down to uh, see what I could find and I found some pretty cool cars. Uh, but first, we'll go through these. Uh, this is the Wally from the new Disney Pixar series. And I thought this one was very cool. You can see the Wally on the front there. It's got a great uh, tampo job on it. You can see it looks like it's completely dirty and weathered. It's a great job. He has a little plant in the back there. Very nice. And the, uh, the track wheels on the back. But look at that uh, rusted effect on the side there. Just the detail on this is actually very, very nicely done. So, yeah, give you a quick look at the back. Um, the Nemo is actually a very, very cool looking car. Both of these two actually looked very cool, but the Nemo was awesome. Uh, did not see the the Sully. Uh, probably would have bought that one. Maybe next time. There you go. What do you guys think? Throw that up the back there, if I can reach. That's good enough. Um, these ones here we're going to actually open. Found myself a second a Lamborghini Centenario from the Matchbox Moving Parts series. How cool is that card? Such a cool looking car. Uh, nothing really on the back except for some legal mumbo jumbo. Let's crack this open. Let's crack it open. Ooh, this is nice. Nice. Kind of like a metallic. Oh. It's, got a, it's kind of like a, uh, a gunmetal grey, but it seems to have a bit of a, a browny kind of bronzer t tint to it. Very cool. But look at these scissor doors. That is just awesome. What a cool car. <laughs> uh, yellow base and some five spoke alloy wheels. Nice details on the back on the rear diffuser and lights, uh, Lamborghini light, uh, three exhausts, awesome, uh, cool wing, that's the one which you can go up and down, how cool is that, let's open this other door, yes, it's even got a pretty cool, pretty cool looking interior, uh, nice front details also, front headlights and that yellow splitter and the side skirts actually looks very cool especially with the yellow tying into the back there on that rear diffuser let's see the engine in the back there what a cool car love these scissor doors I'm gonna keep these up that's awesome actually gonna put these ones down a lower today because I'm gonna have some other stuff to go up the back there some larger stuff uh, anyway, found another one of these super fast 63 Chevy C10 pickups. You go, you see there has the little box inside there. Really nice metallic black, cool card art. Uh, I have the entire set now, so um, I'll try and find a second one of these. And actually, it's very easy to get these three. So we'll just go down to the shops tomorrow and pick up those three. Maybe we can open those up next week. Uh, anyway, what am I talking about? On. I've got to stop talking just open this stuff. You guys don't want to listen to me babble on. Anyway, let's go. Yes, there's the box. Very cool. Number six. Put that up on the display there. And there we go. Ooh, it's even got a nice fake wood interior. At least wooden coloured. <laughs> Very nice. Really cool. I like these wheels. These are the uh, real rider, real rider star wheels. Uh, a bit of chrome trim and red along the side there, and your Chevy badge there. Very cool. And your little step sides. That's awesome. Uh, Chevrolet embossed into the uh, tailgate. Uh, no rear light detail, unfortunately. Very nice, and no front de headlight detail either. That's unfortunate. And opening feature, that is very cool. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually uh, actually does have some red 
paint detail on the actual engine. That's very cool. There's a little bit more light there, it's just kind of hard. There you go. Engine detail. That's awesome. Would have would have liked to have seen a little bit more detail as far as front and rear headlights go, since this is the uh, premium version. Anyway, let's just keep going. Uh, let's get into some show off some new stuff. This is the new Fast and Furious Spy Racers set. This is from the new uh, Netflix series, an original Netflix TV series. Uh, this is the second release of the Iron Motors Thresher. This is also released in the main line. And there's a quick look at the back of the cars and some other stuff there. Here we have the Astana Hotto, which looks to me just like the uh, Track Ripper. It's got some nice details, gold wheels. It's actually a very cool looking car. It's got some uh, spotlights on the front there too. And that's a person from that show. I don't know who that show is. I've never seen this. Here's another one. The Baja, or the Rally Baja Crawler. And this is really cool. Um, I've got a second set of these, so I'm going to do a review. And when I open this one, after I have finished uh, recording the review, I'm going to cut it all up and uh, make a custom out of it. Because how cool is that? Look at the side pipes. Got to get rid of the green rubbish out of it. I don't know what kind of car it's based off. If anyone has any idea what kind of car it's based off, please let me know because that would be handy to try and uh, create a custom. Got all sorts of spotlights and stuff on the top. It'd be cool if it glowed in the dark, actually. That would be really cool. And the last one from the set is this weird looking car, the Hyperfin. And kind of red and orange. Uh, futuristic race car kind of thing orange wheels yeah can't really say much about it because I don't know anything about the show uh, if if anyone's seen the show please let me know like is it worth watching okay now that those are done and we have some cars in here let's start digging into the mystery box of loose cars starting with the Nissan GTR in white all of these cars cost me $1 each, just so you know. Very cool. Yeah, it's just got the rear light details and the Nissan badge and the license plate. Uh, lens headlights and little black details there. Such a cool car. Quick look at the base. Uh, it's a B14. Not too sure what year that is. It was a few years ago. Next we have a Ferrari. This is a Ferrari 458 Spider. Really nice in red. It's actually in very good condition considering that it came out of a, uh, a big pile of cars which are all loaded up over the top of each other. I like these wheels on Ferraris. They actually look like Ferrari wheels. Uh, yeah, very nice. Got some front headlight details. No rear light details, but all in all it's pretty cool. Got the scooter rear badge on the side. Awesome. Put that down there. What have we got? Ah, yes, we've got an E-Type Jag in lovely metallic light blue. Have uh, rear light details on the back. Jag on the license plate. Twin exhausts. Cool. Old school style wheels. Chrome interior. And front headlights and the license plate. Nice. There's this. What have we got next? Next we've got a Porsche. This is the 934 Turbo RSR. A little bit of glue on the wheel. Huh. Anyway, this is in the Falcon livery and I just love this colour. Especially the colour combination. They, they complement each other very well. This blue and uh, kind of like a greeny colour. Awesome. Also in pretty good condition. Just a few little paint chips taken out of it. Oh, we'll just get that one then. Now we have a Welly. This is a Porsche 911 Carrera 996 with a Fuchs uh, logos on it. 
So, don't know whether this was actually from, I don't know, what you'd get in a main line, or if it was from an actual event or something like that, because it looks like a promotional item to me. But anyway, I just grabbed it. So if you guys know anything about it, please let me know. I always like the help. And not really much information on the base, unfortunately. What do we got next? Also, oh, the cool combi. Yes, I didn't have this one in my collection. I was actually very happy to see this when I saw it. I was just like, wow, how cool is that? It's very surf looking. Uh, yellow base, blue body. Great detail on the front there. Very hippie-ish, very surfy-ish. And your surfboard's in the back there. I really like the cool combi. One of my favorite castings. And now we've got a, oh, it's another another welly. It's the Toyota Yaris in red. Uh, Toyota logo, front lights, right hand drive, um, rear detailing. Don't, don't see if that's actually a different color, but it does have the badging. Pretty cool looking wheels. That one's a little bit dodgy. <laughs> Get that down there. Don't need to worry about that one too much. Now we've got a Firebird, yes, absolutely love the Firebird, and I'll keep this one pretty much in the center, I think. Put that one just there, actually, no, let's have a better look at it. You've got your uh, flaming chicken on the front there, Firebird and some nice 80s style tempo design, really cool front end. What a cool car. Such a cool, cool car. Alright, let's keep going. I keep going for this one, but I keep ignoring it, but I'll pull it out now. This is a Majorette Toyota pickup. I picked up one of these a few months ago. Uh, pretty much exactly the same, but mine was missing the, uh, the hood. And then when I found this one digging through a, a box, I found one, and then I digged further through the box, and I found the hood. So now we have the complete well, after it gets restored. Toyota pickup. Very cool. Very old model. Definitely one for the, uh, the restoration pile. Very cool. It's got the, the wood planks in the back. This one's got the, uh, the headlights or the spotlights still. That's very nice to see. And an engine. Awesome. I'll put that down there. Alright, what do we got next? Oh, that's right, this was an old Ertl. I don't know when this was from, but it's a Pontiac Bonneville. A replica 1980 Pontiac Bonneville. Really cool, it's like a, uh, a police livery. I don't know what would have been there, it feels like a sticker was there at one stage. There's the back end. Reminds me of something like in the Blues Brothers. The wheel's a little bit dodgy. But for a dollar, I don't care if it's got a dodgy wheel. It'll just be able to uh, be an excuse to, to give it some new wheels and a new paint job. All right, we'll go for that one since I knocked it over. This is a Ferrari in the Pioneer Audio livery. Number 39, Pioneer Audio Racing. It's an old matchbox. A Ferrari 308. GTB. It's in 155 scale. Cool. Very nice red. Still relatively decent condition. It's not that destroyed. Works well for, for uh, some of my collection. Up next we've got a no-name brand. Toyota Sequoia. Never seen this before. I don't know what a Toyota Sequoia is, but this is almost mint condition. It's just an unfortunate thing that it's just a no-name brand, but it looks like something that you would have seen in that TV show, Pimp My Ride. <laughs> so you want to be a player. <laughs> if you haven't seen that show, you don't know what I'm talking about. If you have seen that show, uh, write a comment. Because <laughs> I think that was a funny show. It was, it was terrible, but it was also funny at the same time. Uh, anyway, up next we have the black Nissan GTR. Very cool. This is exactly the same. 
as this white one. I think this was the two color variations for that year. Let's have a quick look at the bases. See what we can read. C. B. Huh, okay. Maybe not. Maybe they're just the next year from each other. But there you go. Two black one and a white one. Only a couple of cars left. <clears throat> Let's grab these two. Ah, this was the Fisker. Fisker Karma. Very cool looking car. It's not a it's not actually a model that I've got any others of. This is the only one. I know that it's actually a real licensed vehicle. That's about it. Great rear detail. You've got some uh looks to be like uh, fake solar panels on the roof and some nice front headlight details and the badge on the front there too and nice choice of wheel those wheels look cool very cool let's put that over there and up next we've got a Lamborghini Countach nice gold wheels lovely nice blue paint job Lamborghini on the side there so it's in very good condition also a little bit a little bit uh, dirty, but it's not chipped too badly. Very cool looking car. I do like the uh, Lamborghini Countach quite a lot. This one does not have the wing on the back, but that's perfectly fine. I reckon it still looks absolutely awesome. Put that down there. And then we've got the Homer. The Homer, yes. Absolutely awesome. There you go. The Homer on the back there. Love the bubble tops with the megaphone on the front there engine scoop, giant Rolls-Royce front end. <laughs> looks like a looks like a house on the front of it. It's huge. But this is just one of the craziest looking cars in the world ever. And I do actually have one of these, but it's carded and I do not want to open the card because I thought it was just that cool. Same as my Simpsons family car. I still haven't opened those. Uh, but this is just awesome. Really cool, like lime green paint job but the seating the bubble seating is just insane like what was homer on when he was thinking about this spare wheel for the back huge huge uh spoiler <laughs> i just love that that's just too cool let's just move these up a little bit quickly there's only two cars left in the box may as well do these two together yes empty box Awesome. Here we have the DeLorean Time Machine. I did not have this particular version in my collection. And this is basically a mint car. I couldn't find anything wrong with it other than a little bit of just like rubbing issues. But nothing a little bit of polish won't fix. Uh, very cool. It's got all the details on the side. I wonder if it's got a flux capacitor inside there. Yeah, it seems to have all the gizmos in the interior. That's awesome. I'm going to have to open one of these up, I think. Definitely have to open one of these up out of time. I want to open one up and just actually see what's inside the interior. I've never seen inside one. And the last car is also another addition to my collection. I did not have this particular uh, matte black Batmobile either. Very nice. Very simply done. Matte black with just the red pinstriping. Batman on the side there. Grey interior. Just a, such a cool looking car. Such an awesome, awesome car. And there we go. That brings us to the end of what we had to have in the box. But I'm not finished. I'm not finished. I want to just bring out the new stuff. Here we have the new Hot Wheels a Lamborghini pack. Very, very cool selection of vehicles in here. How cool is that? And a quick look at the back. These are the cars which are in there. So be sure to check back later this week. I will have this up uh, probably on Wednesday. So come back Wednesday and you'll be able to see the review of that. I'm going to try and get a few more reviews done over the, over the next few days. We'll put that up there. And what else have we got? What else have we got? Move these ones off to the side because I don't need to show those. Don't need to show those. We can do those next week. We can do this. Yes. Thanks to my buddy who helped me uh, with some other cars. Also helped me out to get 
all of these. Yes, how awesome is this? Start off with the 1969 Ford Mustang Boss 302 with the retro rig. Such a nice, awesome looking car and truck combination in the Ford colors. That car is awesome, great detail on this one. Yes, very nice. And the best part about it was when I went to the shops the other day, I got lucky and found another set. So we will be doing a review and opening up this whole set sometime this week, hopefully. Uh, here we have the Mercedes-Benz 300 SL Euro Hauler. Very cool. So hopefully I'll be able to get the cars because I did put them on hold at the shop. I haven't actually gone to get the cars yet, but I do have them on hold waiting for me. So put that up there. Then we have the 2016 Ford GT race with the Ford C800 truck. That's awesome. That's pretty awesome. I don't like this uh, dodgy ramp thing. I could have done without that. Maybe when I open it, I can just take it off and get rid of it because that's just silly. How are you supposed to get your car into there? That's just that's just weird. Uh, anyway, the Ford GT race is just a, a fantastic, cool car. Uh, you can't really see it, unfortunately, but yeah. Really cool. Uh, let's move that stuff out of the way. Move that up there. And the last one is the Volkswagen Classic Bug with the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup. Or the Volkswagen Transporter T1 pickup thing. Nice details on the front there. Very cool. That's awesome. Great detail on the back. I think this also has the removable rear engine cover. Haven't ever opened one of these, so I don't quite know. But the red and black go with moon. Just too cool. And yeah, there's the back there. So stay tuned and we will open all of these also. Ooh, I'm knocking everything over. Let's just get those out of the way. Everything's gonna fall. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna show you in this episode, because time's gone over, I usually like to try and keep these around, around about 20 minutes. The last thing I'm gonna to have to show you this week is my awesome, awesome, awesome find. Couldn't believe it when I found this. I'm sure you can all tell what this is. Quick look at the back. If you can see on the license plate, you can see the Spectraflame, Spectraflame color. You can see the awesome front detailing and the roof detailing. And you can see there's real rider tires. And you can kind of see it just there. You can see that there's a little gold circle flame logo. Yeah, yeah, I did it. I actually found one. I actually found a super treasure hunt. That's just absolutely awesome. Do you know how long it's been since I found a super treasure hunt? They are incredibly hard to find. But I never give up. I just go in and just, I look for basic mainline cars, but I couldn't believe it. I found this. Ah, oh, super happy. So there we go. Yes, actually found the Nissan GTR Super Treasure Hunt in a lovely, lovely dark metallic blue. Oh, so happy. Okay, um, unfortunately, for I'm going to have to, uh, to stop for the time being because time's gone over. I'm going to wrap up the show. Uh, I've still got a whole bunch of stuff off to the side here some other stuff off to the side here so come back next week and we will open these up i'll leave these all right here so all you have to do is just come back next week and enjoy those things and until next time hope you all have a fantastic week don't uh, don't go out and get into our coronas filled areas just uh be safe obviously and yeah take care and i'll see you all next week